and it's a yaoi. Welcome to Gigi's Yaoi Corner. happening palooza party it's your girl Gigi and you are watching anime palooza today it's time for my may as i'm filling this in october anime haul <laughs> yeah so i kind of been putting this off for a really long time and it's just because like by the time i'm usually ready to film this my voice is already gone and as you can tell it's already going right now i need to film this haul so we're gonna film it today and may is like the last time i had a really big anime haul because i had money and there were a lot of sales so um obviously maybe you can see the little the little big little big friend right here so we're gonna start with that and uh let's get our anime on so the first thing that got I pre-ordered that came in actually this got released on my birthday is the Himoto Umaro Chan Sentai Premium Edition set yes this little orange gremlin is here in this gigantic box which I mean it's huge and goes with nothing um so this is the premium edition I will tell you right now that this does is not numbered which disappoints me greatly um, and it does say limited but it's not numbered so how limited is it Sentai how limited is it Sentai premium editions have been hit or miss for me lately and this one I've already opened because I had to actually watch the show for something which is probably not out yet first of all the thing I don't like about this is this is how the box is it's got this cheap little felt stuff and then everything is kind of shoved in here the second thing I don't like about this is that the Blu-rays, the DVDs, and the soundtrack come in CD jewel boxes, which I've already cracked this one. This is the Blu-ray. I've already cracked it, and this is, like, horrible packaging. I'm sorry. Like, if I wanted, if I wanted CDs, I would buy a CD, or I would expect the soundtrack to come in a CD case, but the soundtrack is fine in its case, but... The fact that I have to put my Blu-rays and my DVDs in this case is kind of unacceptable, especially since this is a flippy case and it's going to break really easily. So that was the Blu-ray. And here's the soundtrack, I think. No, this is the DVD in a double case, which I haven't seen in years, years, guys. Um, so this is a double case of DVDs. Um, it's got two here. Now the disc art is very cute so I will give it that and then you flip it to the other side and two here so it's got four DVDs um the good part about this is that there are a ton of special features on this like there's commentaries in Japanese for every episode there are little shorts there's tons of promos commercials clean opening and closing so for the show alone if you really like Umaru like this is a good box set if you just want the show um and here is the soundtrack and it's a long soundtrack there's 47 tracks on here um, and I have ripped this already to my computer. It's probably background music and something. Probably this video. <laughs> so I love it when they include soundtracks. And But usually when they include soundtracks, they don't include a Sentai box of shit slash stuff, depending on how PG you want to be. But there's one in this. Here it is. Um, and this has a bunch of stuff that I don't think I was too impressed with, if I remember correctly, because I did open this. Okay, so... We have an Umaru Chan lanyard. This is a Sentai Umaru Chan lanyard. So on one side it's got characters and on the other side it's got the Sentai logo and says like Himoto Umaru Chan. A little figure which is exactly the same. I'm not going to take it out of the bubble wrap but if you saw that Loot Crate unboxing that loot anime that had the one with the cola it's exactly the same figure except she's not holding coke we have a magnet we have a rubber strap which is actually probably the best thing that's in here because you know me and rubber straps we have a set of can badges so it's got umaru kirie um ebina and sylphen ford on here and then we have a lenticular card which Umaro is moving around. Um, so A plus for no regular art cards because 
I still never know what to do with art cards. The merch things are okay, but there's nothing really super special about them. Like, I like the little figure, but if I hadn't gotten one already in the loot crate, it's just kind of like, you know, what am I going to do with this? I can put it up on the wall, but who knows how quickly it's going to fall down and I'll never see it again. Um, the box is big and awkward. I can't even get, oh, it's backwards. I can't even get the lid on or off most of the time. And I don't like that they put the DVDs and the Blu-rays in jewel boxes for CDs. Like, I want a case. If you really like the show, you will like this box set. However, I thought the show was okay for me. It wasn't my favorite show. The dub is amazing, though. Like, I watched the whole thing. Um, and it does have a ton of extras. So like I said, if you really like Umaru, you will like this set. I don't really know if the premium set is worth it unless you like all the merch like if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna buy a lanyard and buttons and stuff then yeah totally go for the big box I have no place to put this big box so it's just been sitting around for months um but yeah that's the premium Mars set I it's like in the middle of Sentai sets for me like I can't think of like the Amagi Brilliant Park one was really nice like I really like that one so I don't know. I like the ones with the normal art boxes. I don't like the ones with the gigantic, strangely shaped boxes. The next thing I got um, is Sailor Moon R the Movie. This is from Viz Media and it's on Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Already opened, go me, because I did a dub talk on it and I had to watch it. So this shiny one, which I'm going to cover mostly, is the DVD and then the pink one is the Blu-ray. And this didn't come in a special edition. So this didn't come with anything cool. Um, if it did, I would have purchased it, but it didn't. Uh, what this is, it has the Blu-ray and the DVDs. It's got um, English, the new dub, and Japanese with subtitles. Um, the subtitles on this are so hard to read. Like, th I think these are white text subtitles, and it is just almost impossible to read them because the restoration of the film coloring is so bright and obnoxious. You can't even read it. I'm so glad I have two other copies of this on different formats. Um, the Makeup Sailor Guardians featurette, a cast interview, the LA premiere Q&A. Um, I did watch the cast interview. It's Stephanie Shea, Robbie Damon, and Ben Diskin, I think. It's the guy who plays the bad guy. Um, that was not very interesting. The, um, the premiere Q&A was better. It had like almost everyone there. So that was kind of cool to see Shars in that. This is my favorite Sailor Moon movie. This version is terrible. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if you listen to the dub talk, which that's gotten over 2k views. And I don't know how, but okay. Thanks guys. Um, I don't like the new dub. I don't like it. Um, and there's no option to get the old dub on here. And just the way that it was restored, it looks nice, but it's too bright. Like something is wrong with the coloring here because you can't read the subtitles. And if you can't read the subtitles, that's a major problem. Um, so again, just like most of the other Sailor Moon releases that Viz has come out with, this one's kind of trash. But unless you're willing to hunt down the old ones, this is the only way you can get this. So my favorite Sailor Moon movie. There you go. Next up, I have The Betrayal Knows My Name. This is a complete series put out by Funimation. And it's a yaoi. Welcome to Gigi's Yaoi Corner. Um, this is on DVD only. Because, you know... I'm not even, I, I want to do a rant, but I don't know. I mean, look at, look at all these. They're all boring ass DVDs. They all look exactly the same. There's four of them. Um, and this is a show about like demons. I want to say it's about vampires, but I haven't gotten to the vampire part yet. So I don't know. I'd read you the special features, but it doesn't have any Texas opening songs, Texas closing songs and trailers. But guess what? The songs aren't translated anyways, so it really doesn't matter if they say they're textless because all they're doing is getting the Japanese masters of it and throwing it on the disc. They put zero effort into this, guys. Um, first of all, this is a subtitled only release. Subtitled only from fucking Funimation, who dubs 80% of the things that they pick up. Is it because it's yaoi? Probably. Bishi shows and yaoi shows don't get dubbed by Funimation. 
I've ranted on this a number of times and I think it's completely unfair that we have to deal with crappy fan service things like I don't know like Neto J or um I'd say High School DxD, but actually I like High School DxD. Girls Bravo, they did front Funimation, right? Um, and we, this does not merit a dub. I mean, I'm two episodes in, I haven't seen two boys make out yet. So I'm just like, why, why, why is this not getting a dub? Why is it not getting a dub? Why is it getting put in substandard DVD only releases? Um, and it looks like shit. Like honestly, the transfer so bad. The menus have like no thought put into them. Again, the opening and the ending songs aren't even translated. And here's the worst part is that it's subtitled only and the subtitles have a huge anti-aliasing problem, which is what I've said before for some of the Sentai DVDs that are subtitled only. Um, but like the letters look jagged. They're white subtitles and they don't look like smooth, like normal. Normally you'd see subtitles and they would just like look like letters. These look like my six-year-old niece took scissors to them and cut them out of paper and had jagged lines all over them. So it's like the quality control for this set is like nothing. And that really pisses me off because normally this is a $50 set of anime and luckily I bought it when Amazon fucked up and had that weird sale where everything was super cheap and I bought this for $16. Um, this release right here is making me not want to buy World's Greatest First Love, which is another Yaoi show on DVD only that is subtitled only that they didn't even dub and it's like twice the price of this one. I was so excited when they announced this at Anime Boston. I was the only one who cheered for it. Um, because I don't think anybody else knew what it was. And I didn't know what it was either until I actually bought it. And I'm just, I'm so disappointed that they don't put any effort into titles like this. Like, if you're gonna pick it up, you're gonna spend the money to buy the license. Give it a real treatment. Don't throw it away. Like, I feel like they just bought this or it came in a package deal and they just wanted to throw it away. And that's not fair to the fans of the people who actually like this kind of anime. So, um, yeah, I'm really disappointed in this release. Um, I've only seen two episodes of it, so I can't tell you about the quality of the anime, but Funimation dropping the ball again. <laughs> I hate saying that because I really like their company too, but this is not the first time that they've done this. And other than Oni Ai, which is like a show about some dude fucking his sister, like this is the only, all the Bishi and the Yaoi shows are the only ones that get subpar treatments. And for some reason Nichi Joe, but I don't think you can dub Nichi Joe because there's too many Japanese references in there. I don't know, I've never seen Nichi Joe, but. Now on to a company that puts care into their releases and doesn't really care how many people buy them because they're old and they're niche markets anyways. So Wrights have had a disco tech sale, which is where all my money goes. Um, and I got DNA squared. This is the DVD version. Don't believe it came on Blu-ray. Um, the complete collection contains all 15 anim animals. <laughs> Animal. I, oh, now I got that video from uh, Uptown cosplay in my head. Um, the complete collection contains all 15 episodes along with Japanese language and English subtitles and the English dub. So this is from Discotech. There's no special features on it. Um, I blind bought this because I like to support Discotech because they put out anime that's really old and that I really like. So this says, Junta has a problem. He's definitely allergic to girls. <laughs> All this changes with the arrival of Karn, a gorgeous time traveler who transforms him into the mega playboy, the sauciest girl magnet around. Aw, yeah. Alpha male dreams come true in DNA squared. So uh, yeah, I haven't started watching this yet. I'm not gonna open it because it has the DVD sticker on there. Um, but this is basically, looks like a harem show. It is by Madhouse and it's Discotech. I like to support them, so I bought it. Next up from Discotech again, I bought Actually I Am, 
which is one of their few Blu-ray releases. Um, I bought it on Blu-ray just because I can. It is subtitled only and this is a vampire show. I watched like one episode of this and I thought it was gonna be like Rosario plus vampire but it's not. 13 episodes on one Blu-ray. He's got his heart on his sleeve if only she would notice. Aww. Normally Asahi Kuromina can't keep a secret, he can't tell a lie, and he definitely can't keep other people from guessing that he's what he's thinking. It's so bad that his friends and classmates alike both call him a leaky basket. Um yeah so this is a show about vampires. It's got a it's got a DVD sticker on a Blu-ray which is very weird so I'm not gonna open it but yeah this is a newer series that Discotech licensed um which is cool. It's by TMS. I don't know like I'm very confused with the way Discotech picks things because some of them are new and they're like very niche like this um and they did get free the first season of free um but then I like that they do the older stuff. That's more my jam. Speaking of older stuff, here's another one. Let me take this plastic off. So this is Requiem from the Darkness, the complete series collection. Again, another blind buy. I've never seen this, um, but it is kind of old and uh, it is, oh, it has an English dub. Wow, that's how old it is that somebody else dubbed this. Uh, it's from TMS and let's just read the back wherein the ghost lies the truth once upon a time there was a folklorist named momosuke yamaoka who traveled throughout japan searching for something 100 of them in fact one day during his travels he sought shelter from a sudden and torrential rain and stumbled upon an old crumbling shop there he met a monk and three strange travelers that were far more than they appeared is this yaoi no that's descendants of darkness <laughs> Um, yeah. See, mm hmm I think I bought the wrong thing again, but I don't care because it's from Discotech. There's two DVDs in here, um, and it looks, like, kind of horror-y, so, yay. Back in May, Right Stuff also had a garage sale clearance section, which means they took all the items that are normally in the bargain bin and put them on sale even more and then a lot of them were out of print so I spent a lot of money in there just buying junk like I don't even know what this is about and I have a feeling I'm gonna hate it but I bought Jinky Extend the complete collection this is in a thin pack box from ADV Let's read the little card that comes with it. There's 13 episodes loaded with extras on three discs on DVD. It's got interviews, it's got Jinky Extend Special Night, more Beto 2 model test character art gallery, messages from the Seiyu, Japan 1988 to 91 location notes. Wow, this is really old. A Venezuela location notes, clean opening closings, tons of shit because ADV used to come with a lot of stuff before they became Sentai. And, oh, this is about a girl. Spends her days locked in her room building plastic robots. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna like this, but it was cheap, so whatever. So here are the discs. This is the third one. I have a problem. The problem is called cheap anime, and I buy a ton of it. Um, so yeah, don't know when I'll ever watch this, but I bought it because it was out of print, and it came in a box, and it was cheap which means I'll buy pretty much anything if it's cheap, if it comes in a box, and if it's out of print. Because I want to have it. I want to have it. 